What's up guys? So today I thought it would be fun to look at some of my favorite home video releases, Blu-rays, some DVDs in my collection. Some of my favorites. Maybe I'll do a volume two of this. Just chronicalizing some of my all-time gems, whether it be memory and all that stuff. So I tell you what, we can do some of the more obvious ones and then I'll get into some of the singular releases. One of my favorites was uh, my Scarlet Box set. I mean, talk about a cool one. Whoa. This one, the funny thing is when I wanted this, it was 60 something, maybe even 70 bucks. And my mom was going to get it for me for Christmas about 2014, maybe 2015, maybe, maybe even the next year. It's hard to remember exactly, but I said, mom, I really want this box set from Hellraiser. Is this cool if you get me that for Christmas? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. Just send me the Amazon link. I pulled the Amazon link. It went down to like 40 bucks. And I was like, here it is. Go for it. It's, it's on sale for some reason. Uh, 4K scans of these movies, they are beautiful, uh, just a classy looking box set for classy films. I mean, what can I say about the Hellraiser series? First three are so good. I love the first three. Uh, what about this baby? I never, th I just, I love it. The, the, amp the, the Arrow version is great, great looking set, but this is always the one that I've loved the most, the, uh, Phantasm, Phantasm set. I just, uh, you know. How, how do you beat this kind of stuff? Look at that. Classic art. Man. Wellgo. Uh, Wellgo's not really doing too good, though. They're kind of pissing me off, to be honest with you. They really butchered that 1 and 2 set for Phantasm, and uh, they missed a bunch of special features on that, on that release, and then when they replaced the discs, they really still didn't fix everything, so... It's a no-go for me. Sorry, Wellgo. How about this, man? I mean, what do I need to say? I, I bought this at a FYE used, and um, <clears throat> they put some respect on his name with this. I'll tell you that much right now. But uh, it's a shame we haven't gotten a set yet. But I get asked a lot about a new Friday, a new Freddy set from Scream Factory. Hold your horses! I promise you, it's gonna happen. What about this, man? This is one of still one of my favorite sets, man. The the Steelbook collection. I I just think that Paramount and and Warner Brothers did a good job on this. It's not perfect by any stretch, but guess what? Neither was the Scream Factory set. Um, you know, they, they replaced, uh, they had to replace stuff, but, you know, this one, they just gave you the unrated, they did give you the unrated uh, Jason Goes to, the rated Jason Goes to Hell, and uh, they fixed that on the new set. But this one was still just a good-looking set. I liked it. It's still a classy set. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. What can I say? I still think the Steelbook set, it's funny, I did, I did a comparison video when the Scream Factory set came out, and I still got people saying, you know what, you kind of convinced me to just go after the Steelbook set. <laughs> Pretty funny. How about this? It might, my, uh, my German Jason Takes Manhattan. I just love this release. This is so cool. Uh, funny thing is, before the Scream Factory set came out, I would watch this release. And I promise, I swear to God, this picture quality was a little bit better than the Steelbook picture quality. Uh, I don't know if it's because... The rumor was that the, the Blu-rays for the Friday the 13th sequels especially the ones on the, on the single disc, were really just like 720p upscaled. They weren't really true 1080p. This one looked better than the uh, releases from in America. Now, the, the Blu-ray from Scream Factory looks just as good as this one. Maybe even a hair shred better if you really focus hard on some of the stuff. But this one beat the, the Steelbook, Jason Takes Manhattan, and all that. So, very interesting. All right, this is one of my favorite Halloween releases, man. I just love it. The... Uh, 25th anniversary Divimax. I just can't get enough of it. It's a cool little release. Big fan of it. Love it. Cool. I uh, got the got this uh, documentary cut above. D. Snyder does the uh, does the narration for it. Just a beautiful set. All right. So let's get this one out the way. Thank you to my boy who sent me this. My Puppet Master trunk has to be in my favorites now. I mean, oh, what are we doing here? I mean, look at this beauty. I can open it. Look at this beautiful work of art. Mm. Next time I take a trip down down the road, I'm gonna get the uh, neck of puppet masters and put them in here and display it properly. It's gonna be awesome. What a beautiful set! All right, some individual releases. I just I love these guys. Uh, let's do top to bottom. Nine seven six evil. The reason this is one of my favorites because this is one of the coolest blind buys I ever bought. Of course, when I look at it at FYE, I see from director Freddy Krueger, Robert England. Okay, cool. Sounds good. And this movie was so flippin' awesome. Now, this release may be kind of out of print now, 
But if you can just get your hands on this movie or at least see it, awesome movie. I mean, 976 Evil is the real deal. You got to check it out. One of my favorite movies of all time. What a great release. Evil Ed. If you haven't seen Evil Ed, I'm, I just feel bad for you because it truly is one of the most remarkably entertaining, weird movies ever made. Uh, when, when Arrow put this out, I was flabbergasted, quite frankly. I never thought it would see the light of day. Um, it's about a projection... It's about a movie editor guy who works in this, this movie studio and he gets moved to the horror section and he, all he does is cut up grotesque, nasty, foul, B-movie horror clips all day and so his reality starts to blend with the movies. He doesn't know what's real and what's not real. Everything is dubbed and it's the funniest dubs I've ever seen in a movie. Truly remarkable. If you haven't seen it, trust me. See it. Uh, the reason this is one of my favorites because it's a movie I thought was boring for a while, but then like I, I really started to appreciate this actor and it's become what I think one of the spookiest, coolest movies ever. My release of uh, The Changeling. I'm just, it's kind of hard to see on video, but The Changeling, man, what a movie. Huge fan of The Changeling. Good stuff. Can't get enough of The Changeling. Uh, it's just a good, creepy movie. Uh, this is a double header, so I'm going to do them together. My Synapse releases of Street Trash and Popcorn. The reason I have these together, these two movies made me fall in love with Synapse as a label, and these are two of the most charming films I've ever seen. Uh, Popcorn is this really fun, charming little slasher film that uh, has some elements that you would see later on in a movie like Scream, and then Street Trash is just such a beautifully, lovely splatterpunk masterpiece. I love these two movies so much. These really launched my love for Synapse as a label. Um, awesome stuff. Now Synapse is doing, you know, $60 releases because they don't want to print these pl regular releases. But I just saw that they're doing Man Living Dead at Manchester more. Good thing I didn't buy that steelbook. Now I can actually pay retail to get that movie on a regular Blu-ray. So watch, they'll probably end up doing the Kindred. Watch them. They told me they weren't, but they probably will. But look, as a label, they've put out some really cool films, and these two are just so lovely. I have such great memories of seeing these for the first time. One of my favorite slashers I ever I ever watched, uh, me and my wife went to FYE. She pulled this out and she goes, Christian, do you want to take this home? That movie was The Mutilator, and it became one of my favorite slasher films. What a, it's a perfect, like, this is what I think about when I think of, like, B slasher films. This is the, the exact tone that I want, and uh, The Mutilator gets it right. Um, just, I love this movie. I love this movie by sword, by picks, by axe. Bye bye. Beautiful tagline. Uh, the Mutilator is the real deal. I mean, if you haven't seen this or picked it up from Arrow, it's it's a it's a top tier B grade B slasher film, but it's really an A slasher film if you think about it, because it's just damn good. All right, and from Trick or Treat, two of my favorite releases they've done. I mean, from Scream Factory, excuse me. Trick or Treat is in fact one of my favorite releases they've done. They did a great job on this. Beautiful interviews with uh, Michael Doherty. Lovely movie. Even though this movie had gotten a bunch of really cool releases, it had gotten a Blu-ray release, it got this lovely Steelbook release, the fact that they gave it their own treatment, they did a good job. One of the few artworks that they've done that I just love. I wish I had this on a t-shirt. And of course, one of my all-time favorite releases I own is my Return of the Living Dead, guys. You know this, but like, this release, it's not about the movie. This release is so good. So many special features. Uh... 2K scan of the movie. Nothing wrong with a good 2K scan. 2K scan's pretty punk rock still. And they gave you More Brains, the documentary. Like, we always complain about the Camp Crystal Lake, me me Crystal Lake Memories not being on the box set. And we're all, we're, everybody's already saying they better put Never Sleep Again on the box set. Well, guess what? You know, they actually put the documentary for this movie on here. So they got it right on here. So... I mean, that has to be on here. That, that, those are some of my favorite releases in my collection, guys. I could do a volume two of this, or a part two, rather. I can't just do a bunch of my favorites, because eventually, not everything can be my favorite, but I could probably squeeze out another one if you enjoyed this. Let me know what are some of your all-time favorite releases in your collection, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. For now, this is Christian Hanna, signing off. See you guys next time.